Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis and welcome to the Homestead 2.0 construction site. I'm right here next to a giant boulder that I wasn't think we're, thinking we were going to be able to move. I thought it was just ledge, but uh, the excavators were able to pull it on out. And it, actually, is it, is it stable? <laughs> Am I safe right here even? I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyway, I wanted to uh, just put out an announcement to everyone. Uh, if you're, you know, you've You've been hearing that I've been doing, I've got this, you know, homestead coming and everything. I haven't really done any videos on it. And the reason for that is because I'm going to be turning it into a new series. And I've been working with all the people that have been supporting the channel on Patreon uh, with, with making some creative decisions about how that series is going to kind of be put together. Uh, first off, it's going to be kind of like the Alien Invasion series. And while I'm talking about that, I should mention Alien Invasion is coming back. We're ending the first season at the end of this year, but it is going to come back. But before it does, we're going to have this other se series that's going to be about building this homestead. And the reason I want to kind of take a break for it to do that is because building a homestead is a really important uh, aspiration of a lot of people in the preparedness community. The idea of having a place that's kind of set away from places that, uh, you know, the rest of the world that can, you know, support you and sustain you building a retreat or anything like that. It's a hope, it's a dream. Like I said, it's an aspiration of so many people. I really wanted to focus on it and I want to do it in an interesting way. And like I said, it's going to be kind of like the Alien Invasion series in that it's going to be about the real process, it's about real things going on and, you know, real information and ideas and, and lessons and skills and all that kind of stuff. But I'm going to do kind of a, a little bit of a, a fictional flair to it, like the Alien Invasion had that. But what's going on over at the Patreon side of Praxis Prepper is all, all the Patreon co contributors are eligible to come up with some uh, creative ideas for shaping that series. And the past, like, month or so, uh, people have been brainstorming some different ideas, and I wanted to give everyone... A heads up that the first week in December we're going to do the vote. We're going to be doing the voting on that stuff. So if you've got a cool idea that you want to, you know, throw out there, and you know maybe it becomes the defining flavor of the entire series, make sure you get yourself over there. You know, post your idea, and you know then we're going to be doing the voting on it and everything. Um, for everyone, I wanted to just make a couple of announcements about what that series is going to be like. Uh, it is going to be pretty close to daily, uh, and I. That's going to be a lot of work for me because I'm going, be, I'm going to be spending like, you know, six or eight hours a day swinging a hammer when I'm doing this thing or, you know, cutting or whatever other tools you might be, you know, I might be using during it. And then it's like, that's kind of crazy. At the end of the day, I'm going to make a video on it. Um, but I think it's really important. I'm, I'm willing to put in the time as long as people, you know, continue to, you know, step up to the plate and support me on Patreon so that I, you know, I can afford to take that kind of time away and like I don't have to rush home and like, you know, cram in some, you know, my regular work at the end of the day. Um, I think it's really important to do it as close to daily as I possibly can. Uh, it would not have worked as a like, you know, twice a month kind of thing like Alien Invasion because, you know, you don't build a homestead two days a month. It's, like, it's a lot of work and I think it's important to kind of share that work with you, uh, you know, to show you just how much goes into it and, and, and to not skip over anything. You know, if, if I was going to be doing, you know, two videos a month, it's like I'd be I'd be just glossing over huge sections of stuff that's, that's happening on a, on a daily basis. And I want you guys to be able to, you know, witness and appreciate all that stuff. So if this is something that you end up doing yourself, you step into it with kind of like, you've already seen somebody go through it. Uh, you know, like on pretty much, you know, like you saw like what each day was like. And I, I think it's really important to share it with you guys, like, uh, you know, in that way. The other thing that's going to be different from anything I've done before is I'm shooting it with a new camera made possible by the people from Patreon that have been supporting the channel. Uh, it's a VR360 camera. Now with this camera you see me and you see this boulder behind me and if the boulder fell over you'd see me get squished. Uh, but right now for instance you can't see that just over here there's an excavator and just over here there is uh, you know my backpack and there's a big clearing over here and just behind the camera there's a, a lovely woman walking by in a swimsuit I, I'm just I'm, I'm kidding I just it's a, it's a mostly male demographic for my audience so, <laughs> you know I can get away with it. actually yeah, on the topic of gender of my audience something happened last month I used to have like 10% women uh, that were like viewers of my channel and it just crashed it's like barely 5% now. So something happened last month. Did I say something misogynistic? I don't feel misogynistic. I don't know, but like... Or, or maybe, maybe it's not that a bunch of women fled. It's just maybe there were a bunch of new subscribers and they were just 100% male or something. But I don't know. It's like, where are my hoes at? Where the hoes at? 
maybe it's comments like that. I, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it was weird. Anyway, so yeah, a VR360 camera allows you to look around in any direction. You can do that right through YouTube. As a matter of fact, if you YouTube search like VR360 videos or whatever, you can look at them right now and they're kind of neat. You know, it's like, you know, you can be looking at someone talking and then you can turn around, look over there, look up, look down. You can look at any direction. I think that's going to be a great way of doing it while I'm doing the build because, you know, you guys will, you know, I'll be talking about a certain thing, but like, you know, if there was something else you were paying attention to, like a certain part of the construction, you can just pan right over there and you can check it out and you can see where the status is. And it, you, you're not completely dependent on me highlighting everything that you personally are interested in. You have a lot of control over what you can check out. So Devil's Countdown coming down the pike next year. I'm excited about it. I hope you are excited about it. It's going to be very informative. I think it's going to be really fun. And if you are a Patreon contributor and you have an idea, hop over there. You can share it with people. And if it's the one that gets voted on, it's the one we're going to do. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping I like what people vote. I, I'm, I'm hoping it's not like going to be like, I don't know, like you're in an environment with aliens air dropping bird flu infected clown zombies or something like that it's a funny joke let's go to the clip but i don't know if i'd want to do a whole series with that so so yeah but i'm i'm at y'all's mercy whatever y'all whatever y'all vote for that's what we're gonna do <laughs> that's it thanks for watching Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.